Hi, I'm Bradley Greenwell with Academic Technology, and welcome to this MediaSite training tutorial. In this lesson, I will be showing how you can edit videos in My Media Site. From the My Media Site portal, click on the presentation you wish to edit. Then click Edit Video. This will open the Media Site web editor. If your presentation has slides, you will see the slides in the right window that says Media Site. At the bottom of the Media Site Editor, you can see a timeline of your presentation. The Media Site Editor allows you to set your in and out points. In and out points are where your presentation begins and ends. The Media Site Editor also allows you to cut clips out of your video. However, the Media Site Editor does not allow you to add new content or rearrange existing clips in your presentation. If you need to do this, you will need to use a third-party editing software. To set your in and out points, click and drag the arrows at the beginning and end of your presentation timeline. The grayed out portions will be deleted once we commit the changes. If you click and drag these small circles, you can add a fade in and a fade out for your presentation. To cut something out of the middle of your presentation, click and drag anywhere within the timeline. A portion of your video will now be selected. To remove the selected portion, click the Cut Video button. The selected portion of your video will now be grayed out. You can adjust this further by clicking and dragging the arrows on either side of the grayed out portion. Once you have made all your changes, click the Commit button at the top of the page. You can commit these changes to the current presentation, create a new presentation, or commit the changes to an existing presentation. For this example, I will select Commit to Current. If you are sure you want to commit these changes, click the Commit button again. Committing changes to a presentation typically does take a bit of time. You can view the progress of the commit by clicking the Commit Jobs button. A progress bar will appear. When it reaches the end, the changes should appear when you view the presentation. Another thing to note is that the Media Site Editor uses non destructive video editing. Cutting the video does not permanently remove it from your presentation. If you wish to add the content back, you can do so by clicking and dragging over the cut area. Then click the Uncut Time button. This will restore the content you previously cut. Just be sure to commit your changes once you have finished editing. Once your progress bar is full, the changes you made to the presentation have been applied. This tutorial was developed by the Western Kentucky University Information Technology Division. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please contact the IT Help Desk at 270-745-7000.